If you are running a small business, just starting a company or juggling everything on your own, there are tasks you wish you could put on autopilot. Invoicing is a hassle, plain and simple, but unfortunately we can't escape it. It's time consuming, mundane, but essential. So why not automate your invoicing or at least parts of it? Today, I'm gonna to show you how Relay.app helps you automatically generate an invoice to save time. If you don't currently have a Relay.app account, they offer a free forever plan. So no excuses, sign up and follow along. Now, this is a simple example. I track the services I provide using a Google Sheet, which I then want to invoice to be automatically generated in my QuickBooks account and sent to my clients. You can build out the same flow using other platforms and almost any billing model. The process is the same. You record a product or service, then find a customer, create an invoice for that customer, and send it to that customer. You're about to see how easy Relay.app makes this. I'm using this basic, basic Google Sheet to record my client, date of delivery, the service, quantity, price, subtotal, and I also use a formula that creates an invoice date. Now, I need to connect this tracker to my QuickBooks account, and that is where Relay.app comes in. Just head to relay.app and add a new workflow. Let's set your trigger for the workflow. If you package your services at fixed prices, like my example, 1,000 for content, 3,000 for system builds, this is simple. You can set the trigger to generate an invoice whenever a new row is added to your Google Sheet or a new project in Asana or ClickUp, simple. But if you bill by the hour or have a more complex billing model, you will want to include more than one row on your invoice. Relay.app allows you to schedule a reoccurring trigger. This way, after enjoying your weekend, you can start the week by sending out invoices on Monday. Just select schedule a reoccurring trigger. For example, that is the next Monday morning at 8 a.m or perhaps bi-weekly on a Friday or once a month on the first. Select done and you would move on to the next step, connecting your platform. In this instance, I would find the rows that fall within a specific date. You can use an iterator to collect all rows that fall within those specific dates. Then use those to build out an invoice, but more on that in other videos. Back to my example, to trigger the flow on a new row. Search for your app, for me, Google Sheets, and then just connect and authorize that connection. Next up, you want to select the right sheet. You can easily add a filter as well to define what data gets the green light and starts the action. Then, once you have selected and connected your sheet, you can preview your data here. If you see nothing or you just added a new row, just select the refresh icon here at the top right. And onto the next step, creating an invoice. First, I'll need to include a step that uses the client name to search for a customer in my QuickBooks. Just select the add step icon, searching for QuickBooks. Select find customer. Now, you'll need to define what searches and identifies your customer. I'll select the display name, which is set in QuickBooks, and the display name should match or be exactly the same as my client name in my Google Sheet. But what if your customer cannot be found? You'll want to set the steps behavior to tell Relay.app what to do in this instance. You can fail the run, making it stop here or continue. But maybe there are a new customer that you haven't created in QuickBooks yet. If so, go you. Relay.app will help by creating a new customer for you. Select the add step icon, hover over flow control and add a rule based path. We have two possible paths in our workflow. Path A, I'll rename customer found and set a rule that defines when Relay.app takes this path, which will simply be customer was found. When the rule is not met, Relay.app knows to take path B, which I'll rename new customer. Then add a step in this path and select create customer. For the sake of this example, I'll just select to populate the customer's display name. However, you'll want to add more customer details like name, email, etc., which you can pull in through this icon. Now we need to create the invoice, but our workflow has two possible customer objects or values. The customer if found in step one and the new customer created in path B if no customer was found in step one. 
Other automation platforms require you to manually create two identical workflows for each possible path, which means creating the invoice step twice for path A and path B and any other step that follows. Relay.app doesn't waste time. It allows you to merge your paths, bringing your workflow back together. You'll just need to include a step in path A so that a data value or object exists in both path A and path B. I'm gonna include that first step, which is find customer. Now, rather than creating a step in each individual path, which is gonna take us quite some time, just add another step after the path and Relay.app will merge your data. The workflow will continue onto the step regardless of the path it takes, regardless whether a customer is found or a new customer is created. Now, search for your platform, QuickBooks for me, and select the action. And here you'll see the magic. Relay.app will magically pull in the correct customer object, no matter whether path A was taken or path B, which saves you a ton of time. And then you can spend that time with friends or families or on other important aspects of your business. How good is that? Now, all you need to do is map the rest of your fields. I'll manually add the customer's email for this example, but you can easily pull this in from your tracker. The invoice date and account. There we go. Now, unlike other automation platforms where we would need to create an entirely separate step to format any of our data, with Relay.app, I can use the invoice date and just add two weeks to create a due date. Easy peasy. Now, work your way through the rest of the fields, making sure you include all necessary info and because we wanna make sure we get paid, we need to include a sale item, which I'll then select services and pull in the rest of the, the service description, quantity, cost and total, da -da. and of course the date of delivery. Then I'm just going to leave it as just one sale item for this invoice, but feel free to add more. You could leave your workflow there and allocate a specific day to check your generated invoices or you could automate sending the invoice off to your client. Again, it's so easy. Just jump back in and add a step, QuickBooks, send invoice, map the invoice generated in the fourth step, add the client email, and you are done. Now, you may want to review the invoice before it's sent out to the client, and you probably do. This is where Relay.app allows you to include a human in the loop step. What is this? Well, add a step before send invoice, select an option from human in the loop. We're gonna select get approval to continue run and select how that approval request is sent out. To whom? And you may want to include some further details. I'll include the invoice. Then also configure the escalation behavior so that if the invoice is not approved, the workflow knows don't send this invoice out. We need to fix some things. Having the invoice generated for me allows me to spend my time on other important things like actual work I need to complete for the client. It's efficient, professional, it frees up time and allows me to focus on the more important things. But this is just one workflow that you can set up to help save time and automate parts of your business. What else can you automate? Head over to Relay.app to create a free account and get started today.